So welcome to SOLIDWORKS 2018. As you can see, I've just started the application and we can see a couple things here. First off, notice the new welcome homepage, if you want to call it that. So this is the welcome dialog. And notice that it's split into four tabs. So from the home tab, we can create new documents using the default templates. I can go into advanced to navigate into additional templates, including any of my own custom templates. I can open files from here. I can see a list of recently used documents and folders. And then we can see kind of a shortcut to some resources down in the bottom. Now this section is just kind of the, the starter, just kind of the touch point, because we can expand on that by looking at the recent tab. And with the recent tab, we can see a list of all recently used documents. I can see a list of all recently used folders. So files that I've opened, um, you know, from certain folders. And of course I can browse to and select certain files. If I go to learn tab, I'm gonna see learning things from SolarWorks. I can see some samples, I can see some tutorials, I can see community favorites in 3D Content Central. I can see, um, you know, any of my SolarWorks training that I've accessed. And notice at the bottom, we can actually access online tutorials, cert certification, there's a lot of content in here. And then the alerts tab, we get technical alerts, so important information. And this is all accessible from the home page or the welcome page. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open a particular document. So I just went to the home tab and I selected the document. It's now opened that document for me. And at any time, if I want to open that welcome dialog, there's a couple different places we can access it. There is the home button right in the main toolbar that brings up the exact same dialog box. Also take note over the side here is that there is a SolarWorks resources section, which gives me access to even more information. Now, this one's a bit different than the home page um, because notice that I can access the forms as well. And this has to do with me being logged in. So this is equivalent to logging into your SolarWorks account. And you can see from here is I can access my SolarWorks and the customer portal. I can access the forums. I can also access things like, so you can see from my welcome page here, we can see some tools, we can see some online resources. So this is all accessible because I'm logged in to my SolarWorks account. So that's also new within 2018 is the ability to log in and gain even more access to even more information while you're logged in. Okay, so right now I have an assembly open and pr previously, so prior to 2018, there was no way to click and start dragging while you were hovering over top of a component. So what I'm going to do, and there's a couple of ways of doing it, holding shift, pressing T, there's an option, the tools option. What I'm going to do is I'm going to press T on the keyboard. And now what I'm able to do is notice I'm able to start dragging to select components. So just by pressing the T key once and letting go, I'm able to drag and start selecting components with that. So again, in previous releases, you had to find an empty space in the graphics area. So I probably would have to start the, the drag um, over here, which wasn't always ideal because you know, you're zoomed in tight, you were looking for, for specific components, whereas now it's a lot easier to select those components and not have other components get in the way. Okay, so I'm gonna to go to uh, back to my home and I'm going to open a, another document. So I just used the recent list again. Now I'm gonna to go to the tools tab and I'm gonna go into the options, which I realized just fell off the edge of the screen there. And within the options, I'm gonna to go to the sketch tab and notice that the option for auto rotate has been slightly renamed. So now it's auto rotate, view normal to sketch plane, on sketch creation and sketch edit. So now it behaves consistently between creating a new sketch and editing a sketch. So what this means is that if I create a new sketch on this particular face, so whether I edit a sketch, whether I create a sketch, notice what happens is it rotates the view normal to your sketch plane. Now, if I go and create some geometry and I accept that, Notice that it remains in the view that it was, was at. Okay, well, let's just undo that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna undo the circle in the sketch. And this time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do an edit sketch just to show that the behavior is very similar. 
Now this is actually going to edit the sketch and notice how it took me down to look directly at that sketch. So the edit sketch and the create sketch behave exactly the same. Now in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna select the exit cancel because when you cancel what it does, so I'm gonna discard the changes and go back, is that it actually puts it back to the view that it was at. So if you do edit your sketch or you do create a sketch and you create some geometry and you click the green check mark to accept it, well then it's gonna stay normal to the view. But if you discard your changes, then it goes back to the previous view. Okay, so something that was introduced in 2017 was the, was the mouse gesture options. And what this was is that when you right clicked and you drag your mouse, you got this little spinning wheel of options. And what you're able to do is quickly access different options. So since I'm modifying a part here, it gives me quick options to rotate the view. But notice there's only four options. So one of my favorite things about 2018 is the ability to customize those gestures and make them more specific to, to, to use the tools that mean the most to you. So from the tools menu, I'm gonna pick customize. So again, I apologize, just fell off the bottom of the list. And I'm gonna to go to mouse gestures. And the first thing we can do is we can actually pick how many we want. So perhaps what I'd like is I'd actually like eight. Then what we can do is we can actually drag and drop and rearrange these. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna move the zoom to area. I'm gonna move it to the top. And what it did is actually replace that option. Now perhaps there's a different option I'd like to have here in the corner. Maybe it's save. Maybe I use save quite a bit. So I'm actually gonna put save down to that right menu option. Now this right now is listing all the commands. I'm gonna be a little bit more specific. I'm gonna go into edit. So we can see that any options on the edit menu will appear in here. So maybe one of the things I do quite a bit is I actually change the appearance. Now maybe that's more appropriate to an assembly. I'm working in a part right now, but we're just gonna show this how this works. So I've now added it to a part, and I'm going to actually drag and drop it and add it to an assembly as well. So now when I use the gesture menu, appearance is always down on that, that bottom corner. Okay, well I'm gonna click OK. And now what we're gonna see is that when I right click and start moving, we can see now that save is now down at that bottom right corner and we can see appearances over the left corner. So notice how I moved over top of it, is it fired up the appearance panel. So perhaps I'd like to drag and drop a different material in here. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do this a little bit quicker. So to access the appearance, I can just go and kind of right click, drag really quickly, and notice that, I, that the menu was only there for a brief second. So really where the advantage starts coming from is when you become so familiar with commands, you don't have to think about it. You just know, hey, if I drag to the bottom right, it's going to save. If I drag to the bottom left, I'm going to get an appearance. If I drag and go straight up, I'm going to get zoom area. So you can put your favorite commands in there. And as you start becoming familiar with it, it becomes the quickest way to access those commands. So you don't even need to think about it. It's just a right click and there's barely any movement. There's no keyboard shortcuts. You're not finding it in a menu. You're not finding it in a toolbar. It's just boom. Uh, you've started it, you've accessed it, and you're off and running. So there's things like that that quickly allow you to access particular commands quickly and efficiently. So there's actually quite a bit new in SOLIDWORKS 2018. But I wanted to start, start by showing just some of my favorite things from a user interface perspective. There's some great tools here for efficiency, like the mouse gesture and to be able to select over. There's some uh, great tools for learning and accessing more information, including the login and the new welcome dialog. So there's a lot of great things for you to start using and quickly become familiar with.